Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Sagittarius, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Sagittarius. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Sun card in the reverse, and this is Leo energy. So in the reverse, this is a card of someone who is showing up as um, feeling unhappy about a situation, about the current situation. This person could be feeling like they don't have clarity. They may feel like they didn't get the opportunity to express themselves the way they wish they could have, or they feel as if you didn't express enough to them because this is someone who, um, you know, feels like they are kind of in the dark about something and they're struggling to heal from this. Um, they are struggling to see the joy or the silver lining in a situation. And right now they are feeling quite unhappy with this card being the reverse. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. We have the Hermit, Virgo energy, the Queen of Swords in the reverse, air energy, and we have the Six of Wands, fire energy. So definitely this looks like someone who you pulled your energy away from. It's with the Hermit being here, you turned your back on them. That's how they're viewing you. Um, they are seeing you as currently focusing more on yourself. Um, they may even feel like... Um, they don't have a lot of opportunities to approach you. You may be keeping to yourself a lot these days or not going out or being social as much, or they just feel like they don't have access to you like they once did. Um, this is someone who feels like you may have ghosted them or you are, you're, you're just not focused on them right now with the Hermit being here. Like you are um, finding peace away from them. And for some reason, this, this, really upsets them because we're seeing someone who's feeling almost resentful towards you um with the queen of swords being in the reverse that's that's a very bitter energy that's someone who feels like they they were wronged that's someone who feels very negatively towards the situation and they may even want to get even because you know with the six of wands they're looking at you as having won in some way. Like if there was a breakup, they feel like you won the breakup. You came out on top. You were successful. There's this winner energy with the six of wands, whereas they feel like they were negatively impacted. So there is definitely someone who's seeing you as doing well, flourishing, you know, like they feel as if you found some sort of success and happiness without them. And they have hard feelings with the queen of swords in the reverse. It's a very cold icy energy um it can be you know in the uprights it's a logical energy but in the reverse it can be a bit um revengeful or or bitter so let's clarify these cards uh sagittarius Okay, we have the moon in the reverse and this is Pisces energy. So in the reverse, this is a card of clarity. This is a card of seeing something for what it is. This is a card of um, taking away illusions or fears, insecurities. This could be a connection that you were in um, because of some sort of insecurity. It looks like by walking away from this connection, you found yourself. There's that energy of someone who took a step back from the situation and went into hermit mode and did some sort of introspection, reflection, shadow work. And it's like, as you found your confidence, you may have felt less of a need to be in a connection with this person. You know, it's like you gained the courage, the confidence to um, rely on yourself. There's this empowered energy. And it does look like 
there was some illusions at play when it came to this connection. There was some deception or self-deception, but it's almost like whoever you were dealing with, this person liked you more when you were, you know, when you couldn't see what was going on. You know, it's almost like this is someone who, who liked having some sort of control or um, manipulating you or using your fears or your insecurities against you because it meant that they could keep you in a situation that most likely may have benefited them more than it did you. You know, there's something about you being empowered that makes this person feel threatened. They're seeing you prosper and it makes them angry. You know, they feel resentful. You know, this is someone who unfortunately looks like quite a bitter and unhappy person in general. And um, when you were in a relationship with this person, it's like they, they, they wanted you to be in that misery with them. So they are seeing you as someone who kind of had a wake up call or you saw through something and you may have left, you detached, you walked away and they feel really mad at this. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. We have the Empress, Venus Energy, the Page of Pentacles, Earth Energy, and the Queen of Swords in the Upright, Air Energy. So there is again, it's like you finally saw your worth with the Empress. You were always an Empress, but it's like this person, they didn't want you to realize that. So there's something about wanting to keep you small or keep you stuck. Um, and they, they didn't succeed at this. It looks like you may have freed yourself from that connection and you are putting yourself back on that pedestal. You are in a, in a good position. You may even be in a new connection. Um, you are being seen as thriving. Um, and, um, you know, with the page of pentacles, there is this energy of you being someone who, when you get into relationships, you give it your all. You are a dedicated partner. You put in effort. You go the extra mile. You know, anyone would be lucky to have someone like you. You're, you're quite valuable. You're a gem. And this person knows that, you know, and this is why they're so upset now that they've lost you. There's definitely, on their end, we're seeing a very bitter energy. This person also wanted control. It looks like this is someone who operates a lot from their ego. And with the Queen of Swords being the upright child, it looks like you cut this situation or this person out. And, um, you know, you made a head of a heart decision. It, it does look like you became unstuck and you are moving towards abundance in your life. You're prospering. Um, the Empress is also a card of um, moving towards a successful relationship, a healthy relationship with someone who, you know, is on your level because you've got better discernment now. So there is this energy of you um, embracing new beginnings as well as prospering in some other area. There's something about getting recognition or working hard on something and seeing results from your efforts. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, um, Sagittarius. we have the energy is gaining momentum waxing moon so things are taking off for you things are picking up for you this could be in work in love it could be in all areas there's just this energy of you you know seeing positive results and it's interesting because it looks like it's happening after you leave someone it's like after leaving them suddenly things get better in your life like you don't have this heavy weight dragging you down or this negative self-talk or someone constantly trying to bring you down it does look like there's something you are doing here that's taking back your power and you are flourishing you you are aware that you don't need this person okay so i'm gonna pull out another card for you We have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So there's again that message of it's like you're stepping into a period of abundance, a prosperous energy. Uh, you could also be seeing increase in finances. There's growth happening here in your life, even spiritual growth. The hermit is a card of maturing and having wisdom. So it does look like you're coming out of a dark period here and you are um, entering an, a more blissful stage um, in your life, a, a blissful period here. 
Okay, so I'm going to put another card for you. Okay, we have beauty and happiness. A thing of beauty is a joy forever. Okay, so there's definitely a lot of growth here. Um, someone is witnessing your glow up, you know, and they are seeing you uh, kind of embracing your potential, stepping into your potential instead of sleeping on yourself. It's like you're really putting in that effort here um, to move forward and prosper, going after what you deserve and attracting your blessings, you know, and this is even in terms of love connections. There is growth happening on your side, a lot of growth and people can see it. Specifically, this person here, I'm seeing them witnessing it. Okay, so... I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, um, Sagittarius. Okay, we have surrender your fear of change the universe is reminding you that you are cared for always whether you're afraid of a change in your job your health or a relationship or if you fear aging or death repeat the affirmation i have faith that all is well so there's something about embracing a change you know pulling away from a situation that's stagnant that isn't um, serving you or helping your growth or helping you reach your potential there's something here about allowing change to happen because you are seeing positive changes you know embracing positive changes you're seeing very positive results a lot of growth and success opportunities to thrive here okay so that's what i'm seeing for you sagittarius i hope you have a really really good day sagittarius Bye, Sagittarius.